we got a quick video for y'all today. The Man at My Door True Horror Story Animated. The Scary Man at My Door. This true story takes place back in 2015. It was a cold, chilling. I'm I'm watching this at 1:47 a.m. By the way, 1:47 a.m. Winter night as usual. I'm a young mom with two girls under the age of 10, so naturally I was busy making dinner for them at home. My kids were upstairs playing, and my husband at the time had left for work early in the morning and wouldn't be back until midnight. So it was a regular day. It was around 7 p.m., and as I was preparing dinner, 7 p.m. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Oh I was no! All alone on the first floor of our house. Okay, door rings. 7 p.m. You have no intentions or like no plans for anyone coming over to ring the doorbell. So it's 7 p.m. Dusk. It's not. Is it, is it dusk or it's the sun's going down? The kitchen is across the hallway from the door, and as I turned to look at it, I saw the figure of a skinny, frail man wearing baggy clothes standing outside our door. That's not bad. Although it could have been a neighbor or delivery yeah. man, I knew by the shape of that figure that it couldn't possibly be anyone I was familiar with. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting a package Just by the figure? Oh. The chills ran up my body as I wondered yeah, who could weird. possibly be at my house during this time. I slowly walked to the door and tried looking out the window to see who it was. However, the window on our door was very thick and had a pattern on it, so it was impossible to determine who it could be. I walked back to the light switch a few feet from the door and turned uh -huh. on my hallway light. No, don't do that. The porch light. Why would you turn Rapidly, he dropped to the floor and I stood- What the fuck? Now that's- that scared the fuck out of me, that's- stood there paralyzed by fear. Now that the lights weren't, I could see more clearly. The man had dropped to the floor and started hiding underneath the bench that we had on our porch. What was he trying to do? What should I do? I thought. That's when I noticed that there was not only a man at our door hiding, no, but there was car. also a getaway car in our driveway. No. We have a close bond with all of our neighbors, and the people in the neighborhood know each other really well. So my first instinct was to call my neighbor who lives across the street. I called and asked him to see if there was anything suspicious going on outside my door. Having a neighbor's number is so fucking... That is so clutch. I don't have none of my neighbor's numbers. Unfortunately... Actually, yes, I do. I have, um... Actually, yes, I do. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm able to gather any information And we have a ring. Me. We have a ring camera. So I took it into my own hands and called the local police station to see if they could drive by and check the area. For 20 minutes, I stood in the hallway, anxiously waiting. Then, I heard movement at the front door. The car that was in my driveway had pulled out and drove to another house on my street. The man had made a run for it and dashed to the other house as well. I wasn't sure what to think after that. <gasps> That's I weird as really fuck. Why happened. ring the doorbell and just run? I saw the police drive when by and everything line. was normal. All I know is that the house that the man had run to was well known for selling drugs. I assume to this day that the man had just gotten the wrong house, but I still can't shake off that scary experience. Why was he hiding in the first place? To this day, I still wonder what could have happened if I opened that door. <laughs> oh my fuck, bro! Oh my, oh my god! 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 I'm shaking. <laughs> that shit scared the fuck. Fuck you! Oh my god. 